almost 800 farmers have benefited from the Mar Vista Institute for Agriculture, Training and Development through their climate change education programs. On September 3rd, they hosted a training for farmers titled Climate Change Management of Crops Through Flood, Drought and Heat. According to Adish Ganpat, General Secretary of Mar Vista, their climate change program is meant to educate farmers on how to merge real-life experiences of farmers and the difficulties experienced due to climate change with correct scientific practices to improve overall crop yield. In addition, in terms of flood, we have technologies such as chemicals, or you, know, you may not want to call it chemicals, but in terms of products that could be used to bring back crops that, that have suffered severe um, flood conditions. That way you are reducing the farmers' chances of having a crop failure and losing their livelihoods or being negatively affected. Founder and chairman of Mar Vista, Marcus Maiku, explains that proper education and training for farmers can help them better manage their farms. He also says conditions caused by climate change have presented serious problems for farmers due to extreme flooding and droughts and has presented challenges linked to food security. I met a farmer down in, in Cedrus who was of the view that by using a herbicide incorrectly, it was glufosinate, ammonium, some of you all will know it as Zebo and um, what is it? Uh, yeah, a couple of the others. That he thought that that was the reason why the crop production in the, in the country is going down or, or erratic. According to the former dean of the Faculty of Food and Agriculture at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine, Professor Wayne Ganpat, the Caribbean region contributes an extremely small percentage of greenhouse gases globally. But here it is. Yet, Trinidad, the Caribbean, and all small islands, developing states around the world, suffer disproportionately with the impacts of climate change. We suffer the most. They don't suffer. We suffer. They burn the gases and we suffer. That's what you have to understand. The Mar Vista Institute will be hosting their ninth workshop on September 9th to 10th in Tobago. Mr. Ganpat says they are currently developing programs aimed at youth in agriculture, balancing both the financial literacy and the science of efficient farming technologies such as plant treatment. Jason John, TTT News.